no matter how bad things seem in the small picture, there is always hope. If you see this on February 27th, 28th, or 29th, it is yours to consider. I'm doing three of these. We are using a divination system. If that triggers you, I get it. Move on. It's my intention that this conversation will help you if you decide to stay. Okay, so group one, we have a message that sits above the spread. And that is the dragon's duel with the seven of wands. Okay, now the dragon's duel is this tension of opposites. Okay, even within ourselves and without. So conflict with third parties or perhaps circumstances that seem insurmountable or like obstacle after obstacle. Okay, also it is that inner choice. Okay, we could be avoiding making a decision, right? Now what you have with the seven wands tells you what you need to do. Stand up for yourself, protect your territory, stand your ground and persevere. You will be successful. You don't have to compromise yourself. All right, now we are coming out of difficulty. We may have been, some of us here have been through so much that it's hard not to catastrophize and expect the worst. That's why we have this current position. We have the diamond dreamer, okay, material wealth. It is also true prosperity, okay, You but you have that with the nine of crystals. Why? This is that, um, in this case, in this reading, expecting the worst, expecting more of what we got before, okay? So we have to work a little bit on our perceptions. We know that because it's with this card, um, the Diamond Dreamer, which says no matter what change you are seeking, whether that's a new job, new place to live, new relationship, or help financially, you will receive it as long as you keep taking steps forward, okay? Now, this is the past junk that we're dealing with this nine of crystals okay that's the yucky stuff the emotional landscape and the perceptions that are not helpful that are whispering the old story in our ear we know that things have been difficult there may be outside circumstances you don't know how you will get around the obstacle but there is still reason to hope and the paper tiger of this isn't going to work out everything's bad it was going to happen again those sorts of things or you're not good enough that is a lie, okay? Now, what to expect next is getting assistance and getting help, okay? Help is on the way, that's what this card says, and we see the Empress, okay? Motherly, nurturing energy, How, whatever the vessel is, it's that nurturing energy that comes in to help you. It's also a promise of abundance, and it is things coalescing that will come to fruition to help you. Major turning point for this group, okay? Now, the outcome of this, look what we have here. We have um, the Queen of Light, all right? That is celebration, illumination, celebrating where you're going to end up. And you're connected to everything. There's going to be people, situations, and things that come up to help you. But you have the Seven of Cups, important decisions. You're going to have more than one option. This is positive because the cards that are flanking it and around it, okay? And you want to learn from the past and not repeat anything and learn old lessons you're done with. You have it with the Nine of Stars. That is abundance, the sort of sense of like wish fulfillment and um, being on the right path. It's a complete different energy than what you're coming out of and where you are now. So it's important that we move forward so we can have that, you know, the crowd cheering, the illumination, the success that the Queen of Light shows us. And you can meet all those people that you have yet to meet that are going to help you and that are important on your journey. So keep going.